Hi, let's look at how to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle or a rectangles. Um, with this, remember that a square is a rectangle. It's just a rectangle that has four equal sides. So I do have square included in here. For a rectangle, the perimeter is equal to two times the length plus two times the width. Uh, some textbooks do list it as two times the base plus two times the height, but this one is more often seen. So either one of these will give you the same thing. Um, but to find the perimeter, you're really just adding up all the sides. But since you have two sides that are opposite that are equal, you would have two times the length plus two times the width. Okay, so that's where the formula comes from. Really, you're just adding up all the sides, but this is a shortcut. The area is just found by doing the length times the width, or you could say base times height. That would be the same thing, um, just depending upon your textbook and what is written. All right, a square, instead of adding up all of the sides that are the same, the shortcut is you can just do four times the side length, where S is just your side length. And then the area is just the side squared. Technically, this is the same formula we used over here. I could use the rectangle formulas for a square. So let's just look at these two examples. Like I said, very short, very simple process. So to find the perimeter, we would just use the formula P equals two length plus two width. And it really doesn't matter which one you pick to be the length and which one you pick to be the width because addition is commutative, so you'll get the same answer. Uh, so with this, we would just do 2 times 7, which is 14, plus 2 times 3, which is 6. And so if I add 14 plus 6, I do end up with 20. And the units are going to be the same as whatever the side length is. So I would just have it in meters. Okay. Um, to find the area, the area is just the length times the width. And again, it doesn't matter which one you pick to be the length and which one you pick to be the width because multiplication is commutative, so it doesn't matter if I do 7 times 3 or 3 times 7. I'm going to get the same answer. Um, I'll just stay consistent with what I used up here because I just used my length to be 7 and my width to be 3. So 7 times 3 would give me 21. And remember with area, the units are going to be squared. So I would have meters squared. Like I said, very simple process. Okay. Um, moving into the second one, in order to find the perimeter, because this is a square, all of the sides are equal. I would just do 4 times my side length. So I would do 4 times 5 which ends up giving me 20 feet. So the perimeter of this square is 20 feet. And my area is going to be the side squared. Like I said, I could use this formula too because I would get the same answer. Five times five is the same thing as five squared. And with this one, we end up with 25 square feet. So very simple process to find the area and the perimeter of both a rectangle and a square. Technically, like I said, a square is a rectangle. It's just a rectangle with four equal sides. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that too.